it was very natural because um Mike, the bass player, was my brother. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's that connection. And then sure. Farg, the drummer, Farg and I know each other since we were about 12 or 13. Nice. You know, yeah. we were, we, we met through breakdancing and um, mm. we, we kind of came up through that way. So the three of us would have been obviously very close. And then and that was kind of the nucleus. So it was kind of Farg, myself, and Mike were, you know, we, we began this thing. Um, yeah. yeah because we hadn't a note in our heads just figured it was we didn't realize it but it was kind of like that punk mentality of just mm -hmm. buy instruments and see what happens but right um we'll we'll pick it up and that's really how it began um and uh thankfully because i think not knowing what you were doing kind of shaped the sound of, of what we became then and the reason we kind of started writing our own songs is because we were so shit at every other song <laughs> <laughs> if you make up your own it just nobody can say it's rubbish because you know no one's heard it before yeah i never thought of it that way that's yeah. great i guess it wasn't until we so now i left and we met at oris and then we were still doing a few local gigs right. but they didn't and i yeah. have to say like i've often thought of it i've got my two oldest oldest kids are daughters and i wonder <laughs> Dolores didn't know us that long, right? In the big picture of things. Mm -hmm. And after maybe a year, she went home to her mom and said, I'm going off in the back of a van with four guys across the UK <laughs> for, a, for three weeks. Yeah. You know, and I think if it was me, I'd be like, what? I, absolutely <laughs> not. You know, I mean, there was a lot of trust there to, yeah, yeah go for it, yeah. you know. But Dolores had been, um, she'd been singing since she was four. Right, like and, and like she sang in the choir, and you know she she played piano since she was four, so the music thing really was her. That's all from a very very young age. There was no other option for her. That's what she wanted to do. Wow. So you know, I think her mom realized that when she came in and said, "This is part of that journey that I'm going to be on," that she just went, "Yeah, sure, go for it." Right. You know. Wow. Yeah, that and, does make more sense. Yeah, it does. Whereas. The three of us, it kind of came later. It wasn't an ambition, kind of, you know, from a very yeah. early age. It's yeah. just something that happened to our teens that we, and we ended up coming into it. So, but look, I mean, Man. it was just like that. Like, um, it was out of necessity originally mm -hmm. that, um, kind of like I said to you earlier, where we were just terribly musicians and couldn't do cover versions <laughs> and then you know you learn a few chords and you go okay i know four chords what can i do with them yeah. and and that's what it how it started and then i come in with to the two boys and go i have an idea for something and you know here it is and it would be that four chords mixed up around in different ways and then you know you learn more and we became tighter as a unit for a long time before we met the Doris, we were an instrumental, just the three of us then. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Niall, who, you know, who had sang with us for a while, he left, he went back to the band he was with. And um, it was maybe six, seven months before we met the Doris then. But right. we kind of kept going on our own. And I became the kind of the songwriter then during that time. And, and yeah. stuff like Linger and Dreams were instrumentals at that time then. Mm -hmm. wow. And wow. um they were very early songs and yeah, I just kind of, I think, so I had all this stuff and kind of thought, I thought it was okay, but like, that's what you, you know, you, when you're that age, you think everything you do is brilliant. Like, so, <laughs> um, and, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm so brilliant. And then um, it's when I met Dolores and the first day I met her, um, she came up, she sang some songs for us and we played a couple of these instrumentals. And then I gave her a cassette that I had just a, uh, me playing guitar, playing Linger mm. on it, gave her the cassette. And then she came back. That was a Sunday. I think it was a Thursday. She came back and said, I worked on that. I got some ideas. And she just started singing. You know, she's like, start playing. We started mm -hmm. playing it. She started singing it. Wow. And I was like, I kind of thought, yeah, that's actually all right. You know, it's kind of, you know, this could work. And, and that's how it kind of, it just very organically grew like that. And, and that's how Dolores and I wrote for 30 years. 
Wow. Like, it, okay, not cassettes, but, you know, it's more, <laughs> you know, just to get that in there. Because someone online is going, they use cassettes. Kids, you know? <laughs> wow. How? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So it was, um, it was, you know, it obviously went from cassettes to CDs mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, the tech we have today where, you know, you email each other ideas. But yeah. we never sat in the same room. That never wow. happened. And it just... Yeah. All because of it was, it all goes back to that. This is how we did it from day one. Sure. And it it just kind of we did it that way, and it worked for us. And uh, 